everybody i'm back with a haul um lots of packages today and i had to divide up my my haul videos because there's too many of them and they're too long so <laughs> this one is paper tray ink and some little crafty things from mommy lay so um from paper tray ink they had a special sale and they they said they're going to be doing these throughout the summer um so i purchased um everything they released in the mini purchase in the mini release they did plus some other things to get me free shipping so these two items were previously released i purchased the butterfly folk and um this is the images here i didn't have that stamp set yet and then i had to go out and purchase this because i can't seem to find the die that i had and this goes with another stamp set called direct messages see this little die right here i cannot for the life of me find that die i know i had it and i probably stuck it somewhere so now i'm sticking it in with the stamp <laughs> watch me lose it again the die was only three bucks so it's not a big deal um not to me at least so this also was previously re released this is the one of the new corner adorners and i believe this is sand See how there's this little, it's like a, um, maybe it's not sand. Maybe it's more like just a gritty look. Um, and there's like paint splatters here. So I thought I could use this for um, some cards, maybe some mail cards. And then here's the new release stuff. Now these sets all come with dies. And so I was able to purchase all four sets. This is called Water Ro Watered Rose. And I believe this is from Betsy Veldman. You can see the die back in there. Here is the image. So these were $15 each, including the die. And look how pretty that rose is. Beautiful. This one is balloons and banners, and there is a die in here. So each one of them does have a die. Also $15. This is from Heather Nichols. This one's called Backyard Branches. Now, I know I don't have a set like this with trees. Well, this is a, a weeping... It looks like a willow tree to me. Um, we don't have one of these in our yard, but I know somebody who does. Uh, and these are fairly big trees, too, when you see them. Uh, and then the last one is by Dawn McVeigh. And I'm so glad that she's um, still designing for them, or she's able to still design for them. Um... And she's back. So this one's a layered stamp, just like the rose one is. Um, this is so cute. This one's called Posy Play. So again, this one has the die stuck down in there. So really, really nice stamps. So happy I got those. Um, now I can play with those too. Now these are papers from Mommy Lay. And um, I missed out on the kit for April and May. But guess what? She has these add-on extra kits. So you can buy extra papers and stickers, I believe. What I bought was actually, and here's her, um, here's her website, Mommy Lay Designs. If you go on her website and you're, you like any of these papers, you can buy the papers. And I think you can buy some stickers. Um, that's what's in here. These are planner stickers, but I'm going to use these for crafting. I'm not doing planners anymore. Well, not for myself. I might make a planner for somebody, but probably not for myself. Maybe a notebook. I don't know. So I got these little bits. They coordinate with the papers. Look at that. <laughs> it's a myrmicorn. Is that what they're called? Um, they coordinate. That's a bunny mermaid. Okay. Um, but she sent these inside of the um, package. <laughs> so adorable. So, um, I will hang those somewhere in my room. Um, the papers, I got several sheets of each one. And then I went back after I found out that they sell digital. She sells the digital kit for the April release, which is like the one that is totally sold out. I think she still had, um, kits of this one. And I didn't buy the kit because I just, you know didn't feel like I should <laughs> after buying all these papers. So I'm going to share with you um, the papers 
and here's the B side. These are double sided papers and they're, they're very nice quality. I mean, this is not like a thin piece of paper. It's a nice quality cardstock and they're smooth and glossy. So wherever she has these printed, amazing. So, um, look at this glitter sheet. It's star glitter with a blue, um, fade. And then the back of it is this. So that's a really pretty, like a bulky sort of star pattern. Um, there's this one with the little starfish, like a little face. And then the conch even has a face. And then here's the back of that. So those were the, in the May kit. Yeah, the May kit had that. And this is the April kit. Look how cute the April kit was. It's <laughs> it's a unicorn hiding behind a stack of macaroons, and the macaroons are even even got a horn. I didn't even realize that until now. So cute. And then this one's clouds. Oh, I I, I um actually turned the sheet so you could see. I could show it to you. This clouds one is cute. It's pink. A boba. So bubble tea with a unicorn horn and hearts. <laughs> it's too adorable. Oh, so when I bought the digital kit, the digital kit has all the bits in it. So you can print out the bits yourself. And I have, I'll show you that after I'm done um, sharing the papers. I've shared you that one. And then there's, oh, this is my favorite one. Believe it or not, this is my favorite one because it's so versatile. I could use this for a lot of projects. Pretty, pretty. And like I said, they're double-sided. So here's the reverse side of that. Look how cute that little guy is. And then we're back to this guy with the clouds. So like I said, you can buy the digital of the April kit, which is what I did. Um, let me show you what I've done. Let's see. The digital kit, I just wanna show you the bits. Okay, so I have a Canon wide format printer which means I can insert the images into um, a program and print them out. Um, so this was part of the original kit. Like you could get all of the stickers and stuff like that. Well, I can print whatever I want now from the kit because I bought it digitally. And the digital kit, I believe was 15 or 16 bucks and everything is downloaded, right? And then you just print them from your printer. So um, look how cute. So Vicki, if you're watching and you have a color printer or your daughter does, you can, you can still get the kit. Just buy the digital one. It doesn't have the stamps. This is like a bookmark or it could be like a post-it note. So I'm going to cut these with my scan and cut. I had to buy a new blade for my scan and cut because it wasn't cutting sharply. Um, so I'm going to cut these all out. See, these are stickers in the set or ephemera. Cute. They even have one of the sheets, one of the images is all black and white, so you can color them with your Copics if you want to. So that that's the reason why these are all cut up, because I'm going to stick them down to my scan and cut mat, and then cut them with my scan and cut, and use them on projects. That's adorable. <laughs> and then I have resized some of them so that I could have a bigger image to use on a project. And you can see I have a bunch, I have a bunch. Now I think the only thing that wasn't included in the um, April kit was this. I bought this separately. This is an add-on digital image and this is two together. So it doesn't come like this. I put them together on the paper so that I cut more than one and use the um, paper so I don't have a lot of paper waste because my paper is 11 by 19, it's huge. Um, and it's, it's good text weight, like for projects. Um, and that was purchased on purpose like this. So you can see her watermark is here. So these all come from her website digitally. You just download after you purchase. Um, you cannot sell these, right? So make sure you don't do that. I am not, a, I'm not a proponent of giving somebody else, um, the files. So please don't ask me to do that. Um, but yeah, if you're interested, go and check out her store. 
if you wanted that April kit because you can get it digitally. Um, she has others as well. So I purchased this. <laughs> I'm so happy. So the last thing I have to share is not crafty, but it is because um, it comes from a place called the Vintage Table. Okay. That's the name of the um store. And um, the Vintage Table.net is what's on the card. And look, well, that's not why I got ended up on the store. The reason why I ended up on the store is because I I got to hunting vintage tablecloths. So, um, I don't know. For those of you who have watched my channel for some time, you know that I am pretty obsessed with strawberries. Pretty obsessed, yeah. That's a good way of saying it. I'm very obsessed. This tablecloth um, is has got this. It's it's a retro vintage tablecloth. So if you can see, it's got a border that looks like a folded border, basically, in red and pink. And it's got these red strawberries, and some of them are yellow, so they're not ripe yet. But they go all the way around the border of this tablecloth and also into the center, I believe. Yeah, there's some in the center. But she had this one, which is like a red and pink. And I had to also purchase the blue one. Because blue is my favorite color, but I love pink too. So I got exactly the same one, but it is blue. Um... And I thought this would just be fun to dress the table. Like, you know, if you had a summer picnic or a barbecue in the yard, you could put these out on those plastic folding tables. Or if you were to have crafty friends over for tea or something like that, you could put this out there. And um, her website, she shows you if there's, because these are vintage, right? And they're not making these. Well, if they are, then I wouldn't buy them anyway. But um she will show you if there's any issues like um, holes or anything like that. These are vintage, so they come from used. Uh, they come used. They're not. They're not new. Okay, um, they're not in new condition. I should say, but these hers are hers are in excellent condition. Now, the other thing I got um, was this other vintage tablecloth, and this one I had to get because. It actually, um, this is a portion of it. If you look at this um, pattern here, it's got these scallops, got the roses. If you've watched any of my recent videos, you know I'm very much into the layering stamps. I saw this item on eBay, because again, I was hunting. And this one is almost the inspiration of one of the paper tray ink make it market kits. So uh, I think it was Betsy Veldman who designed it. I think she does all of their make it market kits, but I can see where she got the inspiration to do the stamp set, the kit itself. This is a beautiful set. Um, I wish I had pulled it out for you to share with you. Um, hold on one second. Oh, I love this camera. My phone does allow me to pause it. I don't think I could do that on my iPhone before. But um, this is the set that I'm talking about. There was a 1940s um, set, which I have now for, this isn't part of the Make It Market, but this, she did this for the Stamp Affair, okay, one year. I have this set now, and then you have this Nostalgic Notion set right here. And because... I have this set. When I saw this tablecloth, I was like, ooh, I have to get that because it goes exactly with the um, the whole thing. And I can see exactly how she patterned it after that set. So here's the paper for the set. And it's like that vintage retro tablecloth. Hold on, let me show you like this. You see the scallops? And then... Let's see. I thought there was another one. She's got the um, scallops in, in like some borders you can cut out. But it's just... Look at that. 
it's like the colors are just the colors they're supposed to be and it's amazing i'm just like wow i have to have that and i i have a few vintage tablecloths that are all strawberry i think i have two other ones they're both strawberry but they're not in that great of condition and i had planned on cutting them up for some projects i just haven't gotten around to it there's a lot of things i haven't gotten around to but um i just love the fact that you know, the colors are the colors that they are. And it's just, you can see where she pulled her inspiration from when she was designing. And um, unfortunately, I don't have the paper that goes with this, but I do have the stamps and dies. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where I was thinking when I, I decided I was going to buy this. And this didn't cost too much. I bid on this on eBay. It's in okay condition. I'm going to try and get some of the stains that are in here out um i'm a little worried because this is red and a lot of people say they use oxyclean to get some stains out now um but the oxyclean can affect the red and i don't want it to bleed so i'm a little worried about that but um we'll see what i can do um otherwise yeah i'm just happy to have this as well so that is my haul for today or hauls and uh Thanks for watching. If you guys have questions, leave them down below. I try to answer. Um, and thanks for watching. Bye.